We've told you how therapy dogs reduce stress and provide a sense of connection. Now there's a new horse rescue center that's a healing sanctuary for both the animals and the people it serves. And get this, it's right in the middle of an Altamont Springs neighborhood. And morning anchor Kirsten <laughs> O'Connor takes us inside. You ready? A little more than 60 miles from Marion County's horse capital of the world. Down a small neighborhood trail in Altamont Springs. And it's a different horse every time for every person. You remember that phrase, horse of a different color? They each have their own different personalities. Like Trace, he's a clown. Bella, who's like my feminine connector. This is Dante. Dante is the king. <laughs> And I'm Jen. Jen Zoe Hall says this barn is about more than just caring for her rescue horses. They're all rescues or have suffered some sort of trauma in their lives. And they're all the beautiful 1,200 pound silent healers. The horse sanctuary holds retreats to help people connect with the horses while they're working through personal struggles. There's really no one to talk to but other vets. Marine Corps veteran Geronimo Redfeather works with students at Valencia College who are living with PTSD. They want to talk, sometimes you don't want to talk, sometimes you just need to be in a space to get out of your own head for a minute. For me, it was just trying to, to strengthen that bond and the communication without saying words and just trying to do it that way. Is one of the traumas that I experienced, I fell off a horse. Don Fauvet spent 13 years away from horses after a riding accident. I actually got to ride Trace last week, bareback, and it was pretty amazing to be able to trust and to know that I'm okay. Getting results for your health, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6. Beautiful story there from Kirsten. Joining us now, Jen Zoe Hall, owner, our owner of Zinner Jen and Gail, along with Mini Horse Tuesday here. <laughs> this is a first to have a dog. I mean, a, a mini horse here. <laughs> we just had a dog here to have a mini horse here in the studio, but we're so excited. And uh, it's great work that you're doing there at the Horse Sanctuary. How did all this get started? Oh, wow. Well, I got involved with horses as a reward to quit smoking. And then when I got engaged and learned all the skills and tools in horse training, I went to a Tony Robbins experience. And I went, I left that seminar and I go, oh my God, it's the same stuff. What people, what he is doing with people, I'm doing with horses. It's about building relationship, rapport, establishing respect. It's about leading yourself and leading from your heart. And when you engage with these horses, you learn a truth about yourself because they don't have egos. They don't have the same kind of agenda. I mean, there's no sales pitch at the mm -hmm. end. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we do a lot of like leadership training, relationship building, and interacting with like corporate team building. And what really inspired me was, and this is tragic, but there's always a gift in everything, mm -hmm. was after I had an intervention with Tony, and then my brother passed of a drug overdose. Mm. And um, sadly, he was one of the unsung 22 former Navy, and it inspired me to take what I was doing for corporate team building experiences and like for people like yourself who would like to, you know, I don't know, lose weight or quit smoking mm -hmm. or do whatever they would want to in their lives to take this to a greater a greater audience. And so when when you look at interacting with the horses and that being, you know, in, in some ways therapeutic, what is it that, that happens there in that interaction and how it relates back into relationships? Oh my gosh, you just asked. pretty deep. Yeah, it is, it's deep. It's, it's really an empowering experience and what the horse will give you is actually just a pure reflection. They're mirrors. And how you show up, good, bad, or otherwise, yeah. is what's going to be reflected back to you. And at Zenergen, mm -hmm. using the rescued horses, like for instance, Tuesday, she's an orphan. Mm -hmm. Her mother actually rejected her. Oh. And haven't we all had experiences where we, feel, where we felt rejection mm -hmm. or abandonment or some kind of something? And because of the rescued horses and when you see them and how beautiful they are and the value they have to bring, we can actually go out and realize that we have value ourselves. Mm -hmm. so. And so what, what do you need at Zenergen to continue the work and you know, uh, how, do, how do we get involved? Oh, great question. A lot of small businesses come out to see us. We work with real estate offices and do corporate team building. I mean, we've all done bowling or trust falls or you know, paintball as a corporate team building experience, but to come out and experience something like that. So small businesses come out and we do a buy one, give one. And what that looks like is the, the corporation or the business or the individual can come out and then they can contribute to a veteran or a woman that has been in an abusive situation. Mm -hmm. Or actually we're bringing um, 
new Image Youth Center out in July to have an experience for the youth groups. So what types of activities will happen there with Tuesday and the other horses? Oh, good question. We have fun. First off, we have fun because they don't call it horse play for nothing. You know, it's like the first rule at a swimming pool. No horse play, right? And these 12 pound, you know, well, she's 12, you know, not well, 1,200, she's over tiny. 12 but they really actually bring something to the table where we learn to engage, like, like see how you're petting her yeah. and she's being soft and quiet and you're giving her like love and energy. That's gonna be reflected back. Mm -hmm. And so it really helps us engage with ourselves and learn how, if we wanna lead others, how we need to lead ourselves first. So mm -hmm. we play games and we do simulations and then we play with the horses too. That's awesome stuff. So how can we get in touch and how can we, you know. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much for that. We, we can get in touch with uh, reaching out at zenergen.org, Z-E-N-E-R-J-E-N, -E -E and that came out from Zen Energy, mm -hmm. and I'm Jen, um, or you can reach me directly on my cell phone. That's awesome. So, and what's that number? 407-412-0252. So right. you can reach Gail or myself, and we're always looking for people that are interested in supporting the rescued horses, because mm -hmm. they eat a lot. Don't you, Tuesday? <laughs> I think she's about to fall asleep. <laughs> and I, I just love like the whole gamut of, you know, issues and things that you want to deal with, mm. whether it is that, you know, interaction or even emotional things or addiction and the conditions like, you know, post-traumatic stress. I mean, there's, there's so much tied into, you know, working with these animals. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, and, and like I said, it doesn't have to be something where you're experiencing a trauma. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had people like change their entire business structure and restructure their whole management team because they realized they had introverts and leadership roles where they yeah. should have had an extrovert or, you know, the, the placement and the interaction and the dynamic. Mm -hmm. And then to be using all of these rescued horses and knowing that they, I know, I mean, these, some of these horses are slaughter bound or, you know, have experienced some severe neglect but now they have something amazing and valuable to bring to people as well. Mm -hmm. Well, we look forward to all the updates. We know you're working on some more workshops yes. as well. So yes. we'll be keeping in touch. Thank you, Jim Check Zoe. out our website. We're always doing new and positive things to, to grow and serve at a higher level. So yes. thank, thank you for having me on. Thank you. Thank you, Tuesday. Thanks, Gail.